just before we I begin this episode proper, I have a little post commentary bit here. I actually find out where that piece of heart was. I only just remember this. Use ether to reveal the pathways. Although I actually explain this in the video. And blow up this wall. We got there's two open walls you can blow up here. One that leads to a fairy fountain and one leads to obvious heart. You have another there's actually two fairy fountains here. Which I actually show off in this episode. Here I wasn't intending to actually get the heart piece out, but I thought, hey, let's take a look. So here's a f some fairies, if you want some. Although, why would you want some at this point in the game? Although, to be fair, I do contradict that in the next video. Yeah. And we have a fairy who can heal you. So then. Let's get our heart piece and make me feel a bit more complete. There we go. Oh, and as soon as we go back here, this little drop down here, you can actually jump down and land down there. But anyway, see you in the part of the video. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I already had one attempt at recording this and it didn't end well. Fucking spike traps. It kept hitting me even though it was clearly didn't even touch me. Ah. I know this puzzle. We need. To do that. I mean, I thought, oh, fucking hell no. And it's got even worse. Oh, and that does not help either. Nor does that. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is probably the worst out of all the. Moving block puzzles. No, not block. Moving block puzzles. I mean, flying tile puzzles. Not puzzles. I. Oh, I hate these things so much. I get my words mixed up. It just has the problem with this one is that you have a ball master coming down, and you don't really have a safe spot. And I've already explained. I think I've already said how I. How I struggle, have problems dodging war masters. Oh, cool! We kill it, can kill those guys in one hit. There was enough, no point in this room, actually. I was too busy trying to do that. Right. I know what to do, but let's see how we got to do it. Does that thing first. I was hoping to get that before it, but I didn't. We could have a look around here first. But if I remember how to push these blocks. 
Ah, how do you do this? That thing over there does not help. Nor does the wall master. Have I mentioned already how much I hate those bastards? There's just such incredibly annoying enemies. No, they're not even hard. They're just annoying. Right, I give up on that actually. Oh, what the hell? Uh -huh. I think I've done this a bit wrong. I've had a little bit like there. I'm getting there before one of the torches goes. Right. This one. We could throw a bomb on there and hope it explodes at the end, but let's kick it up and let's make it a little easier on ourselves. There we go. And unfortunately, those guys came up and missed me. <laughs> and we can do the same here. Like they're expecting you to do this. And set off when he gets there. Easy as pie. I'm not even sure if you can kill these. Oh no, you can. They just take a lot of hits. Okay, everything just shifted. Red repairs. Um. Let's take a look at the map. Where have we been? 2F is probably the most simplest floor in the area. I can't remember if it's still huge or it gets straightforward. Af on the higher floors. I know the castle's how it does. No way that place is shape oh. is straightforward anyway. I can't remember if there's dropping tiles. Yeah. You know what? Let's use Oh, come on, I pressed the bloody A Y button. Why didn't it? Oh, yeah, they they do drop. So I was very lucky I got there. Huh, that, that now, is cool, now kills him. Shit. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, pull this back down. Push that. But then there we go. Ah, yes. If you use ether, I believe somewhere around here, we can light up the floors a little bit and kill all enemies in, on the screen. But if you have a big rooms with a lantern here that have those kind of flaws, they get revealed if you light a lantern. Very handy to know. This one does not have a lantern. Well, it does actually, but it's somewhere at the top. However, hopefully, if I remember how to do it, I can cheap it. Although that 
left room looks very tempting. Well, maybe not. We maybe we won't go there just yet. Die. Because right now I'm going. Whoops. Going to cheat this a little bit. Whoops. Bad aim. There we go. Now we've got to hurry up and start walking. Whoa, oh, fuck. And that is not one I wanted to happen. And they disappeared on me. Oh well, we can always do this again. Oh. There we go. This way, you don't actually have to use a lot of MP. Well, I'll probably use more than I should have. But hey -o. Definitely show up in on background there is either. So look, no. No, no, no. Uh huh. That's interesting, though. Then again, I like do not actually messing around with the moving move background layers. See what weird shit comes up. Like I do know that Dragon Quest Two, if you take off the layer one background, you can show see the map underneath the game screen. Let's see what's on your floor. Nope. It's just hit this one. And we have a rematch with the almost knights. But because we have It's all nice this time, but because we have silver arrows and the golden sword. Now I'll get my ass kicked. Main reason that for that is because on ice you don't really have any very good traction. So that's why I'm being a little bitch there. Um, let's see. We got the big key. Bombs. And arrows. Could do some of them after battle. There's actually another path I haven't taken, actually. I'm not sure if I need to. Just yet. Oh, and crack walls like that, you can also run into to break. I really should have mentioned that, but I actually kind of forgot. So, I'm sorry about that. Oh no, yes. 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 Red male. You know, it's not really my favourite colour. It provides better protection against... enemy attacks. Basically, uh, I mean, it drops enemy damage by a quarter. To, no, to a quarter. While the blue male drops it by half. It's a very handy item to have. However, the only problem is I'm going to a room where I messed up in the last recording. Just because. I couldn't really aim very well. Uh, we don't really want to go to the north because there's nothing there north. There we go. Easy spy. Even though it wasn't for me. Uh. Ow. 
Right, I don't think I can do anything there yet. I can't remember though. I'm pretty sure I could do something. I have no idea what the hell the point was that <laughs> of that was. But we got the dungeon map after being whacked around a few times. Actually, let's do that on that and let's see if that changes anything. Apparently not. Uh, will that touch the... Yeah, it will. Eventually. I'm um, arming myself just in case. And I better arm myself just in case again. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I just dropped in it. Boom. <laughs> and I wasn't meant to do that actually. Uh, now we're gonna warp all over the place, which reminds me of a dungeon on Lunar. Actually, speaking of Lunar, I still haven't edited the video yet. I I don't want to. I just keep forgetting to. I don't know I have to do it. I just keep forgetting that I have to. And I got homework as well. I was just remembered. Uh. And I wasn't wasn't meant to. Do that. I was trying to get the item. But anyway, uh, don't think there's anywhere I haven't really. Oh, sorry about that. Games Radar actually done a article on 10 rare games that deserve a second chance and Lunar 2 was on there. Then again, I think that's probably one of their best articles to date, in my opinion. Because it was so true. Like, it, the 10 they pointed out really do need a lot more attention. Like, Everything they said about Lunar 2, I agree. And to be fair, I do agree. I don't care if it's... If they manage to license the original... American version. Or if they... Ah. Ah. Or if they remake the game we need translation or make it in the style of Lunar Silver Star Harmony because they they did the same to the original so why not Lunar 2 like what's so wrong about that right Lunar 2 getting a remake I mean, seriously, they're not too. Like, Game Arts don't really give Luna 2 a lot of love. It's a shame, really, because, in my opinion, it's better than the original game. And both its original and its remake were the, considered some of the, one of the best JRPGs for the system they're on. Whoa. Ow. 
And now, because I have the mirror shield. Oh, you son of a bitch. Because I have the mirror shield, those fireballs do not harm me. So I can aim at these without any fear whatsoever. Ah, the beam may still hurt. Okay, so I'm wrong about that. Ah, oh, wrong direction completely. Oh, wait, maybe you do block him. Okay. And now we have another rematch, I believe. Again. Oh, wait, hang on. It's a bit early for that. Man, that's a lot of spike balls. And a matter of magic power, conveniently. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yay. Right. I'm not really desperate for it, though. Actually, I will use that magic medicine. Although I think a cure all would have been a better idea. Actually, yeah, getting a cure using cure cure all medicine would have been a very good idea, a much better idea actually, because I have taken quite a bit of damage. But oh well. Ah, okay. Never mind. We shall do this. I am still invisible. I remember vaguely these guys taking about four hits with just a sword. And now they take one hit. That's how strong we've become. Amazing. You know what? I'm getting sick of. No, actually, I'm wrong. They do take. They take more hits with the boomerang than the sword. Actually, I only just remembered about that. And god damn it. Dang it, I'm taking a lot of damage here. And oh god, there's two in this room. Oh, please, no. Two beamos in one room. I'm moving conveyor belts and all. Whoa. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a cure all. <laughs> because, goddamn. <laughs> I'm getting warped. That one wasn't as bad actually. Took quite a bit there. But, I believe this is now boss time, isn't it? Yeah, a rematch with La Molos. Still, absolutely pathetic. Now, even more pathetic. Ah. 
I know I said they're even more pathetic and now a competing miss. Hilarious. That fireball is not helping. There we go. <coughs> We've been the moners. Now we have one more the light world enemies to rematch with. Unfortunately, we don't have a lantern in this room, so we're going to have to use ether. Well. I wonder if Aoife will work on whiz robes. These are different looking whiz robes actually. Wait, I memorized something? Holy shit. Whoa. That was a bit close. I'm not sure if there's anything different about these skull whiz robes. Or it's just aesthetic. I think the yeah, the conveyor belt stay intact. Right, this one's gonna be a bit of a doozy. That's going to hit me, isn't it? How did I know that? I must be psychic. Right. No. I was booking this, but I didn't do that very well. Right, when it goes when these two lanterns go out and on its next ro rotation it's go time. It's go time. Now gonna run down there and get through it all before the lanterns go off go out. Whoa. Laser eyes. You can you can hear the the puzzle solve chime going off. That's the watch my call. It's going oh fuck <laughs> oh, oh and I dropped another f bomb and I'm trying to cut down on that. <coughs> I just f completely forgot about that actually. Now that was. Better than last time. And you can still hear him going off. Ah! Oh, what? You're impervious to fire? Dude. Seriously? Okay, I n actually never knew that. He probably said in the manual, but I still have the manual somewhere, but I just can't remember what I've done with it. I suspect it's missing a page or two. <laughs> you know what, I just thought of a nickname for that trap. Beefcake trap. Because it's huge. Ha! <laughs> you self-destructed. You know, I'm not sure why I'm do bothering with this puzzle because I could just open the door, but really, we want another key. But right now, the game's throwing so many keys at me. Oh, and you have a rematch with him. Now he's spotting out in the corner for some reason. And he's already in his pinch mode. And he's dead. It's pretty much just, just like... 
Lamanas didn't really have anything that made it harder, aside from the first bear, which tends to get you when, when your back is turned. Um, how much nights had ice in their room? Mud, mud on here, you know, no, actually, I'm wrong. They don't, the mothers didn't have anything that, no, yeah, they did have something that made it harder. I'm a bit right about that. Muldorm doesn't really have any gimmick whatsoever. Except that the, the arena is a bit different. You probably just noticed that. You probably noticed that already. You know what? I can't be asked about that last one. Ah, open, get through the door. Thanks for the boost. Such a hate out with ice. Trying to get into a door, a ice thing. Or staircase. And hey, look, we got the boss. Let's check the map. Ah, there's a room I haven't explored yet. Okay. Okay. And there's another room there. I actually didn't notice that room. No, I'll see, I actually didn't notice that room. Okay. So this key could have been used somewhere there. Oh well. I'm not bothered. Because we are here for a rematch with Aghanim. Now we're in a nice flash effect outside. It's great that you could, could come all the way here, Link. I'm very happy to see you again, but you better believe we will not have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom. He now has two clones. You can cause right, triple damage to him if you bounce all his clones' attacks onto him. You can in that, uh, you can combo him that way. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at that. But all we have to do is just reflect. No. I thought the mayor should work on worked on that. Okay. And they all completely missed. Oh well, we can always have another go. I got hit by one, but the other one got him. <laughs> Basically, the best way to fight this boss is just position yourself so you can get at least more than one shot into him because you unlike our last encounter with him you can actually combo him I already said that didn't I but I'll say it again because I didn't say it right unfortunately I'm not very smart at that but I'm pretty sure there's other LP here, so you probably could do that so, do this so much better than me Oh, yes. We can hit him twice here. There we go. Funny combo in, and that was the last fight. What the hell? He was Ganon all along? And Link breaks the, the order of the game. I like how you, you can see. Ah, oh, I was Ganon's tower in the background. Then, I like that the fact that it's actually pretty cool, and it shows how the true power of the Castlevania bat. So that's probably where they came from, the pyramid. That's bat space. Yeah, lame joke. <laughs> but anyway, we're very near to beating this game. Very near. We just need to drop down here. But first, I'm going to do something completely pointless. Then I'm going to go into the dark light world, back into the light world, and actually restock potions, my potions. Then we can fight Ganon. See you next time.